The Waltons is a beloved series that captured the hearts of viewers during its run from 1972 to 81. Set against the backdrop of the Great Depression in the rural Appalachian Mountains, the show followed the lives of the Walton family as they navigated the challenges and joys of a bygone era. While it's widely known for its heartwarming portrayal of family values and its timeless storytelling, there are also a lot of fun and lesser-known facts that add depth to the show's history and its production. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to unique character insights, these tidbits shed new light on this iconic series. In this video, we'll take a look at some behind-the-scenes secrets from this classic show. Inspiration from Spencer's Mountain The Waltons drew its inspiration from the 1963 film Spencer's Mountain, which starred Henry Fonda and Maureen O'Hara. Both the film and the TV series are based on the writing of Earl Hamner Jr., who penned the novel Spencer's Mountain. While the film focused on the Spencer family in Wyoming, it laid the groundwork for the concept of a close-knit family living in a rural setting, which became the basis for the Waltons. Earl Hamner Jr.'s Personal Experiences Earl, the creator of the Waltons, drew heavily from his own childhood experiences growing up in Schuyler, Virginia during the Great Depression. Many of the characters and situations in the show were inspired by his own family and life in rural Virginia. His connection to the material brought an authenticity and emotional depth to the series. The Real-Life Walton's House The iconic Walton's home, known as the Hamner House, was a real house located in Los Angeles. Built in 1932, it became a popular tourist attraction during the show's run. Fans of the show would visit the house, though it wasn't located in Virginia where the series was set. The house added to the show's charm and nostalgia. The Fishing Pond Scene One of the most memorable scenes in the Waltons is the opening sequence featuring John Boy and Grandpa at a fishing pond. Contrary to the show's Appalachian setting, the scene was filmed at Franklin Canyon Reservoir in L.A. This picturesque location helped set the tone for the series, but was, of course, a far cry from the rural Virginia landscape. Will Gear's Political Activism Will Gear, who played Grandpa Zebulon Walton, was not just an actor but also a political activist. He was a member of the Communist Party, which was a controversial affiliation during the McCarthy era. Despite his political beliefs, Gear's portrayal of Grandpa was beloved by fans of the show, and his character added a layer of wisdom and humor to the Walton family dynamic. Ellen Corby's Health Struggles Ellen Corby, who played Grandma Esther Walton, faced a significant health challenge during her time on the show. In the third season, she suffered a stroke that left her partially paralyzed. Instead of writing her out of the series, the show's creators decided to incorporate her real-life struggle into the storyline. The character of Grandma Walton also suffered a stroke on the show, allowing Corby to continue her role, albeit with limited mobility. This unique approach not only showcased the resilience of the character, but also demonstrated the show's commitment to its cast. Richard Thomas's Departure and Return Richard Thomas, who played John Boy Walton, was a central character in the early seasons, but he decided to leave after the fifth season to pursue other acting opportunities and to avoid typecasting. His departure left a significant impact on the show, as John Boy was one of the show's most beloved characters. Despite his exit, he returned for several guest appearances in later seasons, much to the delight of fans. Mary McDonough's Wig Mary McDonough, who played Erin Walton, sported a distinctive long-haired look on the show. But during her time on The Waltons, she had to cut her hair short for another role. To maintain Erin's consistent appearance, she wore a wig throughout the remainder of her time on the series. This clever workaround allowed her character to maintain her signature look and contributed to the character's continuity. Guest Stars in Their Careers The Waltons featured numerous guest stars who went on to have successful Hollywood careers. Some notable guest appearances included David Dukes, who later gained fame in films like Gods and Monsters, Sissy Spacek, who won an Academy Award for her role in Coal Miner's Daughter, and Ron Howard, who became a renowned director and filmmaker. Michael Learned's Initial Refusal Michael Learned, who played Olivia Walton, initially turned down the role of the Walton family matriarch. 
She felt that the character of Olivia was too similar to her previous role in the medical drama The Nurses and was concerned about being typecast. But the producers and creators of the show persisted and Learned eventually accepted the role. Her portrayal of Olivia Walton became one of the show's defining performances and her chemistry with the rest of the cast helped create the strong sense of family the Waltons is known for. Jerry Goldsmith's Iconic Theme Music The Waltons is known not only for its heartwarming family stories but also for its memorable theme music. The show's theme, composed by Jerry Goldsmith, became iconic. The music captures the spirit of the show, evoking feelings of nostalgia and family unity. Goldsmith's work on The Waltons contributed significantly to the show's emotional impact. Awards and Critical Acclaim The Waltons received critical acclaim and garnered several prestigious awards during its run. The series won multiple Emmy Awards for Outstanding Drama Series, cementing its place as one of the most beloved and respected shows of its time. The accolades were a testament to the quality of the writing, acting, and overall production, and they solidified the show's lasting legacy in television history. Addressing Social and Political Issues While The Waltons is often remembered for its warm family moments and idyllic setting, it was not afraid to tackle pressing social and political issues of the era. The show's creators integrated topics like racism, the Vietnam War, and the civil rights movement into the storylines, providing a reflective and sometimes challenging view of the time period. This willingness to address important issues added depth to the show and made it more than just a nostalgic family drama. John Walton, Ralph Waite, and Personal Connections Ralph Waite, who played John Walton, the family patriarch, had a personal connection to the role. He grew up in a similar rural setting in Pennsylvania, and his own experiences resonated with the character he portrayed. This genuine connection to the material allowed Waite to bring authenticity and depth to the role. Reunion Movies After the series ended in 1981, the Waltons lived on through a series of reunion movies. These made-for-TV films brought back many of the original cast members to reprise their roles. The reunion movies allowed fans to catch up with the Walton family and see how their lives had evolved over the years. A last of these movies, A Walton Easter, aired in 1997. The Walton's Ages In the series, the ages of the children don't align with the actor's real ages. For example, Richard Thomas, playing John Boy, was born in 1951, making him much older than the character he portrayed. And Mary McDonough, Aaron, was born in 1961, while her character was younger. Influence on Homecoming The Homecoming, A Christmas Story, which aired in 1971 and served as the pilot for The Waltons, featured Patricia Neal as Olivia Walton, not Michael Learnett. The rest of the cast, including Richard Thomas as John Boy, remained consistent when the series was developed. John Boy's Motorcycle Accident in the series, John Boy had a motorcycle accident in the first season. The storyline was written into the show because Richard Thomas had a real-life motorcycle accident, which led to him being temporarily unavailable for filming. Real Family Photos The opening credits of The Waltons featured actual family photos from the cast and crew, adding a personal touch to the series. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on The Waltons? Let us know in the comments section below.